USIS USA's Technical Training Department presents G100 and M100 keypad navigation. In this video, we will demonstrate how to navigate the G100 and M100 keypads. This includes navigating the parameter groups, changing parameters, changing a local speed reference, and checking basic monitors. These instructions will be helpful for anyone who works with the LS G100 or M100 drives. At first power up, the display will show to the commanded speed reference. If your drive is factory default, this should be 0.00, .00 which means that the set speed is at 0 Hz. Before we move on, if you have an M100 drive, it is important to note that only 18 parameters in the first group are accessible from factory default. To be able to unlock other parameters, go to OGR, press enter, set at 1, and press enter twice. Then press the mode shift key to return to the commanded speed reference. This parameter is the start of our first parameter group, the operation group. This group contains the basic parameters for the drive operation. We can cycle through the different parameters by pressing the up and down arrows. When we press up once, we see ACC. This is our acceleration time. Press the enter key labeled ENT to enter in and out of parameters. By pressing the enter key, we can see what the current acceleration time is set to. Here we see 20.0 which means the drive will accelerate to maximum speed in 20 seconds. You can see that one of the digits is blinking. This is the cursor, and you can press up or down to change that value. Press the mode shift key to move the cursor to the left and change digits from the tenths place to the ones, tens, and hundreds place. Let's change the acceleration time to 5.0. Now that we have changed our acceleration time, press the enter key twice to save the change. Then the display should be back at ACC. Make sure that you press the enter button twice or the change will not take place. When we press up again, we can see DEC, the deceleration time, DRV, the command source, FRQ, the frequency reference source, and other commonly adjusted parameters. To go back to the commanded frequency reference, you can press up or down, or you can simply press the mode shift key. This key is also used to display the various parameter groups. In addition to the operation group, there is also drive, basic, advanced, and other groups. For a list of specific groups and parameters, refer to the G100 or M100 manual or quick start reference. You can also press and hold the mode shift key for a second to go to the previous group, and pressing and holding down for longer will allow you to cycle through the groups in the opposite direction. Now that we know how to navigate through the groups and parameters, as well as how to change parameters, we will show you how to set up a run command source and a frequency reference source. First, let's navigate up to the DRV parameter, the drive's run command source. Pressing enter, you will see that it defaults to 1. This is fxrx1, meaning the forward run command. fx comes from p1 and reverse uses p2 by default. We will leave this at 1, so press the Enter key again. Next, we will go up to the FRQ parameter, the drive's frequency reference source. When we press Enter, we can see that this defaults to 0. This means that the drive will look to the keypad for its speed control. Let's change this to a 2. Setting 2 makes the drive look at terminal V1, which is a 0 to 10 volt DC analog input. On our demo here, we have a speed pot wired up. Press Enter two times to save. Now go back to your main display by pressing mode shift. Your speed is now controlled by the speed pod. If we close our switch wired up to terminal P1, the drive will run forward. Thank you for watching this video. For any technical questions, please call or email us via the methods listed on screen.